All right, welcome back. This is default desktop for Linux Mint 17.2. Again, this is the Mate edition. You have a choice of Mate or Cinnamon editions. In fact, on their website, I believe there are, there are four different uh, editions of Linux Mint, and we'll take a look at that in a moment. All right, I changed the default wallpaper. You just right click and you have different options here, including change the uh, desktop background. I won't go into that. That's pretty basic stuff. The bottom panel, I made it bigger because I'm running this on a widescreen TV and it's easier on the eyes, at least for me. Okay, briefly, time and date, my internet. Volume, right click, go to sound preferences. Again, if you've been using Linux, you've seen this before. No major aesthetic changes here. I had to install Kazam to record this. So far, so good. And by the way, I did not install Linux Mint. I chose to run it off the live USB stick, and it runs pretty good. I'm, that is impressive. Right-click one of my favorite features, Add to Panel, and you can add little shortcuts, applets, to the panel bar. Let's see. Let's add a system monitor. Click that, and nice and zippy, you have your resources here. It's using about 500 megabytes of RAM. Not too bad. Dual core machine. CPU 1, 77%. CPU 2, I guess 60%. Very, very good. Moving along, of course, Firefox is installed by default. If you are new, I strongly suggest right here, click this, download the Linux Mint user guide. Let's go to the Linux Mint website and see what we have for choices. Let's see, you actually have three editions, not four. Uh, Linux Mint Cinnamon, Mate, and LMDE2. Let's click the Mate edition. Yes, it is spelled mate, but as far as I know, it is pronounced Mate. Okay, let's see, new features at a glance. I won't go through all of this. Uh, the biggest improvement I've seen is this does seem to appear to run quicker, even with a non-install off the USB stick. So. Looks like a bunch of incremental improvements. Very good, so take a look at this. Well, let's go to one of my favorite features of this, the Mint menu, the now classic was and still is my favorite menu. You can choose between favorites and applications. Another nice thing about this is the search bar. Let's say I wanted to search or install Rhythmbox. Now I can just type in R, H, Y. Many choices here. If I wanted to search for that, I could. But in this case, I wanted to install, and everybody knows that, install Package Rhythm Box. And that tells me what it is, a music player. Click that, install. Now, since I'm running this off a live stick, I won't install it because once I restart this, it is automatically erased. But anyway, just to give you an example of how this works. Very, very nice. By the way, you can right-click this and remove from panel. Let's take a quick look at uh, all the applications. Go to all, all applications. Let's see, Banshee, very good media player. Uh, let's see, of course, Firefox, the GIMP image editor, very good. LibreOffice, of course, installed by default. Let's see, let's go to one more thing I wanted to take a look at. Yeah, the welcome screen. Click that. If you are a beginner, this will give you some options here, shortcuts features, important information, user guide, restore data. If you are new to the world of Linux, you should definitely take a look at this. This will be very, very helpful for you. Okay, and some shortcuts here to the left. Again, self-explanatory if you are new to the world of Linux coming from Windows. All right, I think I'll leave this review for now. Another excellent product from the fine folks at Linux Mint. I don't know yet this would be my choice for the Linux desktop of the year. Again, I've stuck with Ubuntu Mate because at least all of my specific software I use has worked and continues to work in Ubuntu Mate. In the previous version of this, I had some issues and that was rather disappointing. However, that being said, I strongly recommend Linux Mint 17.2 Mate for beginners. Definitely check it out. All right, I'll have a link for this below in the show notes. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe for more stuff. Support this channel if you like what you see. Enjoy your technology. And as always, please do not text and drive. Take care.